It is 545 students and veterinarians at the University of Georgia have teamed up to create a new way to treat diabetes in pets. Good day's Alexa Liaco joins us with how this is not just helping pets stay healthy, but also helping pet owners as well. Alexa. Yeah, a really cool collaborative effort. Engineering students created this device and pet owners will not have the peace of mind that their animal isn't suffering with diabetes and it makes treating that diabetic pet much less of a hassle. So how is she doing? CJ the cat has diabetes. Hi, CJ. It's a very common disease in dogs and cats. When we first got the diagnosis, I thought, oh, you know, how do we do that? At first, CJ had to get several shots a day to measure her blood sugar levels. You ready for your shot? We were wearing her ears out. We were doing it twice a day. But all of that changed when CJ started using a newly developed blood sugar monitor created by vets and students at UGA. And we attach the monitor usually right about here. The monitor stays on the pet for three to five days and it takes blood sugar levels every five minutes without any shots. Even when they run around a lot, these monitors will stay on them. Then owners take the monitor off and mail it back to the veterinarian. They'll plug it into the UGA created program to see how much and what kind of insulin the pet needs. And we're able to determine that we had to change the type of insulin she was on and also change the dose and that has made her quality of life much, much better. I think she's putting on muscle back here. I really do, um, which is what we want. Her quality of life has been good. If it, believe me, if if I thought for one second that she was suffering for one second, that we wouldn't be here. And the quality of life is better for CJ's owners too. It's a simple process. You just be patient, be kind, and um, above all, be confident. People euthanize their pets. There are pets in shelters that don't get adopted because people are frightened of diabetes. And what I want to say is please don't be frightened of it. We can help you. We're a huge resource and um, we can hopefully make a better decision for the pets. She seems to be doing good. And to learn about the warning signs that your pet may have diabetes or how you can sign up for this program, just visit the Good Day section on fox5atlanta.com. <sighs> It's yeah. great because I know a lot of people probably didn't know that this resource actually existed. Right. Yeah. Some of those warning signs are the same as in humans, you say. Right? Absolutely. If your pet's drinking a lot of water or needing to use the bathroom a lot, those could be warning signs that your pet may have diabetes. Mm -hmm. And your pet doesn't even have to be, you know, really overweight. So a lot of people may not know that their pet could use this. Mm -hmm. All right. Alexa, Alexa thank thanks. You.